Hello, brothers and sisters. Good to be with you once again. I want to begin with a big thank you to all our techies who upload these video messages and help us keep in touch. Well done, guys. You're doing a great job. Now, we're studying Philippians, this letter from lockdown. Let me read to you the first two verses. Paul and Timothy, servants of Christ Jesus, to all God's holy people in Christ Jesus at Philippi, together with the overseers and deacons, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Picture this scene as a way of getting into those two verses from Philippians. What we're looking at there is a family in two parts. On the one side, you've got Paul and Timothy, these Christian leaders. On the other, the church at Philippi. And the two parts of this loving family cannot meet because of lockdown. Paul is a prisoner, locked up many miles away. And so because they can't meet, Paul writes this letter, which would have taken many weeks to deliver by hand. Now think about that scenario. Suppose you could have got all these people together and said to them, look guys, which would you prefer? To be able to receive a letter from Paul or for all of you to get together and meet and be able to greet each other properly and to celebrate together? I think it's obvious, isn't it? They would have chosen that face-to-face -face meeting. But would they have been right? Think about what the results would have been. They'd have no doubt had great fun while the meeting lasted, but only a few people would have been there. And what would have become of it afterwards? Instead, this letter has been read by billions of people and has fed the Church of Christ through 2,000 years. Now, here's my question for you. Do you think that Paul could ever have foreseen in his wildest dreams what would come of him simply writing a letter? Surely not. He could not have imagined that we would be here today, still reading his letter, studying it together over the internet. Paul would have loved to have been free to travel and to have met up with his friends at Philippi and been a pastor to them. But God arranged it that Paul would be locked up for a little while. And as a result of that, Paul became a pastor, not just to that little church at Philippi, but a pastor to the whole world and to Christians throughout every land and in every age. Now, what's the lesson of that for us in lockdown? Very simply this, that God knows what he is doing. God knows what it takes to build his church. God knows what it takes to make each one of us like the Lord Jesus Christ and thus to fulfill his purpose in our lives. So let's not fret about missed opportunities during this time of lockdown. Let's not fret about all the things we can't do. Instead, let's do the task that God has entrusted to us, even if it seems small to us. So whether that's writing a letter or sending an email or a text message, making a WhatsApp call, making a phone call, whatever it might be, however small it seems to you, do that thing today because that's what God has entrusted to you and do it to the glory of God. And you will be astonished what God brings out of it. On the last day, when all the lights are switched on and we see things as they really are, you will see an incredible harvest from what God has done through the thing that you offered to him, though it seemed so small. You did it faithfully, you did it prayerfully, and God multiplied it and made something spectacular out of it. And no doubt when you see that enormous harvest, you'll say to your heavenly father, well, where did all this come from? And he will say to you, do you remember that time of lockdown that you found so frustrating? And we'll laugh together and we will say, our God has done all things well. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, our times are in your hands. You know us, you know our needs, you know the need of our world and you know the need of your church. 
Help us today to be faithful in doing the task you give us to your glory, and may it produce great fruit for your kingdom. Amen. Amen. Well, the next time I'll be online is probably going to be Sunday morning with our live streaming service from Caution Baptist Church. Check out the details on the Caution Baptist Church website. And then, God willing, I hope to be back with you on Monday for some more of Philippians. Until then, the peace of the Lord be with you. God bless you, my friends.